Hi, I'm Jim with Knight Security. Thanks for buying a Knight. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate for you how to use and show you some of the main functions of the KT9000 anti-spy detector. Okay, so first of all, before using your KT9000, you want to make sure that you understand all the different parts of the device and also the functions. So you've got on top here a radio frequency antenna. You've also got the option to screw in a magnetic detection probe. You've got a switch for radio frequency versus magnetic mode. Uh, you've got two knobs. One is for the sensitivity of radio frequency and the other is for magnetic detection. For more detailed information, please reference the user manual. To turn the device on, you'll want to turn their sensitivity dial to the right. Once the device is turned on, if you're looking to detect radio frequency, you want to make sure that the mode switch is switched to the left for radio frequency mode. Next, you'll want to make sure you uh, set the device with the correct sensitivity for radio frequency detection. In that case, you want to turn the knob all the way up. And so right at this point, it's detecting a radio frequency signal at its highest setting. And you'll want to slowly, little by little, turn the radio frequency dial down until there's no more beeping or only a slight flickering of light. At this point, you'll be ready to detect radio frequency. Note, when you do detect for spy devices, you want to make sure that any of your uh, Wi-Fi, tablet, cell phone, Wi-Fi router devices are turned off. Now, for magnetic detection mode, you want to make sure the mode switch is switched to the right for magnetic detection. Upon switching, you'll hear the device beep. You want to make sure to turn the balance tuner knob all the way up and also the sensitivity dial all the way up. Once having done that, you'll want to then turn down little by little the balance tuner until you get to a status of having five lights illuminated. Once you've got five lights illuminated, you're now ready for magnetic detection. The last thing you have to do is simply screw in your magnetic detection probe and now you're ready for magnetic detection. The purpose of the camera finder device is to shine red light on and visually discover and locate cameras. You'll be able to use this device by simply turning it on and shining red light. There's three different settings. One is a flashing red light, one is a slower flashing red light, and one is a constant red light, like so. You use this by simply looking through the front of the device while the red lights are shining on any perspective or suspected camera. You'll be able to discover a camera by seeing a small red dot reflect back at you once you shine the red light on it. Okay, so let's now perform a sweep of a home to try to locate spy devices. What you'll want to do to locate a spy device is have the device on radio frequency mode. So turn again the sensitivity dial to the right, turn it on, turn it all the way up. It's always going to be alarming when you have it all the way up because the KT9000 has an extremely long range detection, which means you're likely picking up if you don't have any Wi-Fi or radio, you know, uh, radio frequency devices in your home you're likely picking up a neighbor's radio frequency device or a device or a cell phone tower or something uh, nearby in your area. So what you want to do is you want to turn it up to the point where it's alarming and then turn it down little by little to the point where it's just not alarming. So right now we're getting no beeps. Well, I'll turn it down a little further. I happen to know that we have a spy enabled, uh, sorry, a, a spy Wi-Fi camera here over on the shelf, which is Wi-Fi enabled. So that's emitting a signal radio frequency, but if I little by little approach the spy camera over here, you'll see that it'll eventually beep. One thing you can do is just turn up the sensitivity to the point where you get an alarm. Okay, so it's picking up the Wi-Fi camera at a little bit of a higher sensitivity, but you can zero in more specifically on where it's located by turning the device down little by little, as I'm doing right now, and getting closer and closer to the point where, okay, there it's, it's picking it up again this close. I turn it down a little more. It's not picking it up now. I go in closer. Okay, it needs a little bit more, I guess. A little bit more, okay, there you go. So it's at the point now where it's picking it up. 
Here it's not. Here it is. Here it's not. Here it is. If I go further away again, I can pick it up at a higher sensitivity, even further away. Like right there. So this sensitivity dial needs to be played with so that you can zero in on the exact location of a suspected spy device. Once you've located the spy device like we just did with radio frequency, you can then use the camera scanner by turning it on. And you can shine, a, we recommend using the continuous red light. You can shine it directly on the suspected spy camera and what you'll see is a small reflective dot. So you can look through this lens, this red lens right here. And sure enough, if I look through this, yep, I can see a small red dot, which is showing me that for sure there's a camera lens uh, right there in that clock. In addition to locating spy devices using radio frequency detection, the Knight KT9000 also detects and is able to alert you of EMF or electromagnetic field. So we can test that by keeping the device also on radio frequency mode, right, with the RF antenna plugged in and the right sensitivity dial turned on with a sensitivity at about the right spot. Turn your microwave on and you'll see the device will uh, almost immediately start beeping uh, at the highest level because of the microwave radiation emitted. You can simply um, test this radio frequency detection with a microwave, or you can also take your KT9000 and slowly walk away from the microwave as it's on to determine at what point in your home there's no longer any radiation exposure. Okay, so now I've got the device uh, with the magnet probe attached to the top. And also I've got the balance tuner set at five, at level five, so it's not beeping. Uh, at the very tip of this magnet probe, you've got a magnet sensor and also a light to help you identify visually any possible GPS trackers or other magnetic audio bugs that you may be uh, having to find in your, in your area. So uh, first of all, just to scan a car, typically what you wanna do is go up under the bumpers and this magnet probe is flexible. It's meant to go up under into hard to reach places. And um, in this case, you can see it's, it is alarming. You wanna get, you wanna go very slowly and deliberately around your car's tires. And I'm curious why it's alarming over here. It seemed like it's clean over here, but back it's this way. And I, visually, I don't see anything under the wheel, but I happen to know that I've got a GPS tracker right here in the tire. And so that's what it was picking up. So I've got a magnet right there, stuck to the inside of my wheel, which could have been tracking my location. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever about your product, feel free and contact us at the information listed below, and we'll be happy to help. Once again, thanks for buying a night, and we sincerely hope it helps you.